Good morning. How's everybody doing today? On one of my previous videos, I talked about all of the things that I like about my Honda ADV 150 and kind of scooters in general. So on today's video, I thought I'd balance the scales a little bit and talk about the things that I don't like about my ADV 150 and maybe scooters in general. So stick around. All right, number one on the list, and this list is probably gonna be pretty short and I'm gonna struggle to come up with things to put on it because I like this bike so much. But we're gonna start out with what's directly in front of me, specifically the Honda ADV 150 windshield that comes from the factory. That thing is, it's terrible. It's useless, it serves almost no purpose whatsoever. It doesn't block any wind and it's not really a, a part of the bike when it comes to the styling of it. If it were bigger and maybe darkened a little bit, although I don't think they could do that for legal reasons from the factory, but if it were a little bit bigger and a little bit more protective of the wind, I would understand that and it would, it would be all right by me. But unfortunately, the, uh, the windshield that came with this bike from the factory is just, it's worthless. So I had to go out and scour the internet and check out all the websites that sell parts for these bikes which there's not many they're all based basically in, in Japan or uh, oh, the Philippines so I had to get online and and check out all the parts and things like that to find a windshield that I thought was going to look cool was going to work really well so I went ahead and ordered it uh, from a seller on eBay I don't remember the name of the guy but you'll just have to look for it there's not too many ADV 150 windshields available on eBay so you'll find it if you want this specific one but i ordered it and i got it to my house relatively quickly you know for being shipped from overseas so we're talking like a month um when i got it and i decided to install it on my bike the bad thing well there's a couple of them when uh when you turn the handlebars the the, the stock uh rear view mirrors hit the windshield so i had to put extenders on it just to sort the whole thing out and it's still not perfect i can't turn the handlebars with that thing folded down all the way so maybe that's why honda didn't put a bigger windshield on this bike because the maybe the mirrors hit it i don't know anyways on to the next one so the next thing that i don't like about this bike it's kind of a i don't know it's 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 a love hate sort of thing for me i'm talking about the key fob and the, the keyless ignition and you know just the key fob you walk up to the bike and it's unlocked and you can push the button to uh to open the seat and pop the fuel cap and do all that good stuff I and mean, it's it's really it is convenient don't get me wrong but i would much rather have a key because you never know when one of those things is going to die on you the little key fob and i mean i keep my batteries changed out once a year just to make sure that they're topped off and i use good brand batteries from you know sony or duracell or something like that to make sure i'm not going to have that kind of problem but to me if they would have just simply put just a regular key for this bike it would have made a heck of a lot more sense just one less thing that could go wrong with these bikes over time just one less thing you'd have to you know uh maintain just having a key would be so much better you pop a key in there turn it left pop the seat and the fuel cap whatever you want it'd be great so i've been sitting here at this light for a while and good thing we have a law in Washington state that says motorcyclists don't have to sit at stupid lights that don't recognize their stupid bikes. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. This next one to me is kind of a to be determined sort of thing. I'm talking about the seat and how uncomfortable it is now or when I first got it. And I don't want to give you all the impression that it's horrible because it's not. I mean, it's nice and wide. It's supported. It's got a little bump in the back for your butt, which is could be a pro or a con, depending on you know what type of rider you are. If you like to push yourself back and sit on the back seat, then you're not going to like it. I don't do that. I prefer to be you know sitting in a nice position, you know, static or what even want to like a neutral position on my bikes when I ride them, so it doesn't bother me. But. Um, when I first got the bike, I could only ride it for about 45 minutes, an hour, and my butt was like, eh, I've had enough of this crap. Well, the more miles that I put on it, 
and I don't know how many miles, I like, I don't know, eight or 900 miles on this thing, but the more miles that I put on this bike, the better the seat is getting. So it is kind of breaking in and I'm enjoying it more and more. Like I went on a, uh, like a three hour ride, you know, uh, a couple weekends ago. And uh, it wasn't up until probably, I don't know, I'd say the two and a half hour mark uh, that my backside was really kind of saying I've had enough of this seat for a while. But, you know, other than that, it's, it's, it's getting better. So I'm gonna leave that on the list of things that I don't like, but maybe cross it off a little bit later. All right, the next thing that's on my list of dislikes is directly related to what this bike is called. So this thing is called the ADV 150. So it's supposed to be ADV meaning adventure, right? So with an adventure bike, there's one thing you, it's almost, it's, it's necessary that you're able to do this on an adventure bike and that is stand up. Well, on the ADV 150, you can stand up, but the ergonomics of standing and riding on this bike are completely garbage. <laughs> and I don't even know, like it's sketchy. I'm going to try to do this here, but I'm just going to go kind of slow, but I will stand up on it. And the problem with it is when you're standing on the bike and riding, the handlebars are way too low. And even some one inch risers wouldn't, wouldn't fix the problem. But you feel like you're kind of pushing your hands down into your front jean pockets, if you know what I mean. And you have a very leaned forward stance. <laughs> when standing on this bike it's terrible i mean i wish that there was that honda had uh maybe put some some pegs a little bit farther rearward on the bike you know just maybe change it so you can pop some pegs out and stand up on pegs on the back of the bike and kind of lean back as you're standing but even still i don't think i don't think the bars are high enough to to kind of make standing and riding on this bike uh all that all that nice of an experience but I don't know maybe it's it's not meant to be ridden like that but it would be nice if i could because i've taken this bike on some pretty rough dirt roads and things and and i always wish it's like man i need to stand up for this part but instead of being able to stand up and go over some rough stuff i just have to slow down and uh go over the rough stuff you know at a slower speed because if you go too fast on a bike on a rough dirt road i'm sure you guys out there that have experience you know you're gonna you're gonna hurt your back pretty bad so being able to stand on this ADV 150 would have been sweet so that's another thing that I don't like about this bike is not being able to stand on it while you're riding off-road okay so I think this is gonna be the last dislike that I talk about and that is when it comes to wiring something up to the bike like a phone charger or a GPS wire or anything okay this getting to place where you can actually tap into power on this bike is damn near impossible okay what I mean is like all these fairings that are all over this bike it's almost you, you almost have to take the whole entire bike apart to be able to fish some wires say from the handlebars down underneath all this stuff back to the battery or the fuse box which is located underneath the seat directly below me so it's 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 impossible to wire something up on this bike easily so what I did when I wired up my, my GPS mount here for my Garmin is I have all this wiring here. And I'll pull over here so it's easier to kind of follow what I'm saying here. Okay. For my Garmin, I wired up everything. And I just have the wires kind of zip tied here to the other, what is this, the, uh, uh, the brake hose and, and the throttle cable and all that stuff. I just have like all the wires from my Garmin just zip tied to this. And then I have them run down through here, down through there. And then what I had to do in the side compartment here, I had to drill a little hole to run the wires through. Okay, so I got the wires coming through here. And then my GPS is plugged into the 12 volt port inside this little, this little uh, access thingy here. I mean, it works, but I would much rather have the wires coming down nice, neatly, underneath all the fairings and coming back to the bike and run underneath the fairings and then up to the battery compartment which is right inside here the battery is super easy to get to on this bike it's totally easy and the fuse box it's right there it's easy to get to but getting the wires from there to there is a very hard job 
and I don't like that. And I wish Honda would have maybe considered making these fairings easier to get off. Make it so you don't have to take the whole entire bike apart uh, to wire something. But I don't know. I guess it is what it is. Well, for now, I can't think of any other things that I really dislike about this bike. It, it rides great. Uh, awesome gas mileage. The, it's comfortable to ride. The seating position is great. Uh, it's easy to cruise down the road. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think that there's anything else. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't looked into it yet, but it might be a pain in the butt to find some decent uh, off-road style tires for this thing. I guess if I, you know, if I wear these things out, these have been great. I think they're IRC, but they get a bad rap, but these tires have been really pretty good for, for bone stock factory tires. So I guess when I wear these out, I'll just get some more, you know, bone stock factory tires. But anyways, everybody, thanks for watching the video. I really enjoy making videos about this scooter because it's one of the probably the best bikes I've ever owned and I just absolutely love it so despite um, all the things that I dislike about it they're pretty easy to get around um, you know like the windshield and change it I mean, anyways um, it's not too big of a deal so don't let the things that I don't like about it dissuade you from uh, purchasing one or going out and getting one because they're awesome bikes so awesome anyways uh, thanks for watching the video everybody out there ride safe have a good day and we will see you on the next one